On today's vlog, we'll be sharing our dining experience at this five-star resort, Baru by Atmosphere. Please join us. Okay, so we made it at Lime and Chili. So let's check it out. Hello. Okay, they have pizza, seafood pizza, and margarita pizza. Check out that Indian food. Okay, so this is the cassada masala, which is lamb, onion, tomato, and Indian spices. And this one is the paneer makani, which is cottage cheese cooked with tomatoes and Indian spices. Oh, and then we have the dal, which is mixed lentil, onions, tomatoes, garlics, and Indian spices. And of course, you can't eat Indian food without the butter naan. And the rice. They have the salad, which is they have some grilled chicken with baby corn, and the chickpea salad, and the beetroot with orange and almond flake salad. Couscous with um, lemon dressing, as well as a mixed seafood salad, and the fish terrine with blueberry, and of course the coleslaw. Okay, checking out the Asian side. They have some fried papad and some corn crackers. Some oven roasted potato. Vegetable parmesan. And the beef savory. It's minced beef. And grilled fish with French mustard sauce. Yeah. And some Greek style seafood. Some roasted chicken. And here are some condiments. Let's check out the vegetable teriyaki fried rice. This one is the stir-fried vegetable and ginger plum sauce. And some tossed noodles with some eggs. And chicken with black bean sauce. That looks good. I'm going to be eating that later. Ooh. And here are some assorted cheese and brie. Ooh, look at that. Some tahini yogurt and some hummus and some marinated olives. Smoked. Here are some smoked fish and smoked meat. And some poached squid, octopus, prawns and fish. And some more salad. And on this side, we have the Egyptian dessert. Oh wow, this looks really good. Some baklava, some basbusa, some rice pudding, coconut cookies, some panafi, panafa berries, and some fondue. There are some cakes, and some panna cotta, and some custard. Okay. And 
in the soup section. Okay, and we have some bread on this side, softball, tomato, olives, assorted focaccia, and other um, assorted breads. Oh, yummy, and some pretzels. Some Indies, Indian um, side dishes. And the beef, and the reef fish, and chicken. Can I include you in the video? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. And then we just met um, Tam here, and he's from Vietnam, and Hello. Lakshin. Lakshan. Yeah, Lakshan. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. They have a pasta there too. So they do the grilling, everything looks fresh and yummy. So I'm gonna try that too. And right here they have the pasta station. That's some macaroni, spaghetti, patoni. Yeah, oh wow. What kind of sauce you want? Alfredo? Oh, this is my kind of station. The waffle station. Hello. Hi. White chocolate and dipped waffle with white chocolate and semi-sweet chocolate. We have all the sides. So this is the chocolate dipped waffle station. All right, so this is round one. We have Alfredo pasta, some beef and chicken. Very good. All right, we're going to check out dinner. They also have some banzio, Vietnamese crepe. Fruits. 
grilled chicken. I saw one of the chicken cut salad. Chips seafood. This side they have the pancake station and the waffle station and the French tea. So it looks like they haven't made it. And you can select um, some toppings that you want to go with your waffle or your pancakes. So in this corner they have like the vegetable noodles and the kolji with the different toppings. So they have chicken, Tea eggs, some chili pepper seasoning, lime wedges, and kimchi, spicy waffles. And on this side, we have the Arabic uh, delight. So we have some pita bread and some tahini yogurt, and some variety of marinated almonds and some hummus. And cucumber and some peanuts. I'm really intrigued by the peanuts here as well, so it looks like a it's fresh raw peanut or they just boiled it without the skin. So that's the first time I'm seeing that. Kind of looks nice. It has some sliced bell pepper, red, green, and yellow, and some tomatoes, kidneys, bean sprout, and some a variety of and here is like a um, roshi. It's a multi Indian cuisine. And what we have here is um, this one is the roshi, which is the multi Indian bread. And on this side is we have the vegetable bread curd. Kopi by Masukumi, which is a uh, kopi leaves with coconut and tuna. So these are like the multi Indian uh, And here we have some, it's called alubi humi, which is a potato and coconut. And here's another multi Indian dish, which is called kopi masukumi, and it's a coconut with tuna and chili flakes. And this one is a lime spicy, which is just a coconut and tuna. On this side, we have a variety of honeybee. So there's a rosemary, ginger orange honey, rose petal honey, and here there's the cinnamon and the flower. There's the acacia honey and the hyper lime So I'm going to be trying those. And on this side, you have the mango yogurt. I um, I'm not a big fan of the yogurt, and here in Maldives, or they tend to be a little sour. So I'm not a big fan, but I know it's um, it's sort of like much sour than. I can both taste it for comparison. And here we have the tea yogurt and the big skin. We have the granola parfait, 
it has um, passion fruit, it has some, um, some granola. So that one looks good. And here is the Berkshire Musili. Um, I'm not quite sure what this is, so maybe it's like a, a local Maldivian um, yogurt of some sort. The pineapple fruit and the plum and the red apple and the mango. Variety of vegetables. We have some variety of rice and some apples, some special and some chia seeds if you want to add it to your yogurt. On this section, we have some cereal and um, the charcuterie, the cheese, and some breadsticks, and some brie, and some condiments, some olives, apricot mustard, berry mustard, pino, and there are some charcoal ports. Um, the meat, so this one is the chicken mozzarella. Salami mozzarella. This one is the smoked salmon and smoked mackerel. And on this side, we have a variety of different um, breads the sun dried roll, the multi grain mustard roll, and some pepper bread. And there's some more um, sliced bread here. And some variety of um, chia seed bread, sunflower bread, rye bread, and more And then you can place it here. So here, let's continue here. And then here are some homemade jams, raspberry mixed foods, and some butter. And this one is a vanilla custard pastry. That one's really good. Um, sometimes they alternate it with some caramel and some cinnamon danish and some donuts. A cambriole and brioche. This one looks good. And here's some vanilla muffin, chocolate muffin, blueberry danish, and orange cake. And over here in the corner, it said they have the chocolate croissant and the butter croissant. And some juices, some watermelon juice. Um, my husband said this is good. I haven't had it, so, but since today's our last day, I'm going to go ahead and try that. And some orange, orange juice. So, what are you eating? I don't know. I'm getting so, some Maldivian. The hubby is eating just some stir fried noodles and some naan and multi Indian um, Middle Eastern bread with some hummus. And I'm surprised that they have um, a pork bacon. I thought um, they don't serve bacon here in Maldives, but um, I guess they do in the resort. And some variety of sausage, some chicken and beef, and some ketchup as a condiment. So, one more other um, section that I'm going to show you which is the, this one's the oatmeal section. We have the cinnamon sugar, the raisins, and the bacon. Salted mushrooms, and some tomatoes. This is really good, I really like this. And some herb roasted potato, and some sweet corn. They have some variety of fruits, some oranges, some local fruits, papaya, and apples. Good morning. Some festival, honeydew, some local watermelon. will be available for two hours And this is where the meat section, so we have the beef sausage, the chicken sausage, mushrooms, and pork bacon. And 
All right, uh, me and the wife are gonna go to the first restaurant that we're gonna try at the Bau Atmosphere, and it's called New, and it's supposed to be seafood, uh, seafood entree, right? Yes. All right. I think it's one of um, a Michelin restaurant here in Maldives, so it was the top ten restaurant around the world, and we're gonna go ahead and check it out. All right, so we're going to the new restaurant and it's uh, seafood and it's supposed to be just here. So well, we'll find where we check it. I think we check in here. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Yes. Oh wow. So this is the view uh, from where we're eating and this is the over the water bungalow view. So uh, for the new restaurant is a seafood restaurant and um, if uh, uh, it's not covered in the uh, Varu plan it's uh, $65 per person plus uh, 60% uh, taxes and 10% gratuity fee. So we'll try it out. Okay, so um, on what we ordered for the menu, at least for me, I ordered the soup de mare, which is sauteed clam, calamari, scallops in a tomato broth, and grilled garlic crostini on the on the side. And then for our meal, I ordered the kafta, which is the Lebanese uh, beef kebab. Uh, freshly made pizza bread and grilled vegetable and garlic sauce. So what did you order? Okay, so for my starter, I ordered the, the prawn Caesar salad. Um, it comes with some fresh um, prawns and has some croutons and some, um, some cheese in it. And for my main course, I ordered the catch of the day, which is the, the sea bass. So I really like fish and I think I'm gonna... Sea bass is one of my favorite fish, so I'm excited to try um, to try my, my lunch today. All right, let's cheers. Cheers mm. to the Maldives. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so here's my Caesar salad. It has some ponds and some capers and some Parmesan or Mojano um, shaved ice and croutons. So, bon appetit, let's eat. Okay, so I got the Super de Mare, which is an Italian seafood soup. Yeah. Let's try it. It has clam, it has some calamari, and some mussels, and tomato paste. Oh, it's good. Okay, let's try it to finish. Try the sauce. It has like um, a mango sauce and some basil infused oil. And it does have a little bit of um, basmati rice on the bottom. Very um, light dish and kind of refreshing too. 
from the mango sauce. So I'm really gonna enjoy this. And it has a little bit of um, some greens on the bottom. So it's a very well balanced um, diet, um, dish. Now I'll try the kapta. This is beef. I don't really eat seafood, so I have to eat beef. And it's good, it's a beef kebab. Very tasty. And it has the quinoa rice and some vegetables alongside it. And then the sauce is kind of mayo, <coughs> creamy. And it, it blends well. It's just, it's like eating a kebab. It's good. So we just finished our main course and now we're on to um, our dessert. So we both ordered um, a latte and I have um, tiramisu for my dessert. And what do you have, huh? I have the Belgian dark chocolate mousse. Mm. And it's like this. Yeah. And this is what the tiramisu looks like. Let's give it a try. Bon appetit. Mm. Mm. Wow, Ooh. this is really good. The chocolate uh, ice cream is pretty good. It's really creamy. And the dark chocolate is really... You can really taste it. The tiramisu is actually really good too. The cream is very light. Um, not too sweet. And... Um, where the, the cake is, you could really taste the coffee and it's really good. Let's try the chocolate mousse. It looks like this. Wow. Mm. The chocolate mousse is rich in chocolate and also creamy. Wow, this is really good. Amazing. That was fun. Amazing experience. Mm. It's a nice break from a buffet. Next stop is we're gonna try the charcoal tonight. So the charcoal is adjacent to the Bay Rouge. So you go to the charcoal to watch the sunset and eat dinner close to the beach. restaurant that we're gonna try for tonight and this is uh, um, barbecue grill food type restaurant okay hopefully it's good let's check it out I think I'm gonna order the crispy pork belly and then the um, maybe ribeye or the baby back ribs. I'm still trying to figure that out. Okay, this, is, this is the ambiance of this place. It's actually um, dinner close to the beach. And it's uh, seven o'clock right now. And people are starting to trickle down and start eating. And my family is eating on this side of the thing. So it's a little dark, but yeah, uh, this is to enjoy the uh, dinner on the beach. So this is what I ordered, the pork belly lettuce wrap. Look at that, amazing. I got the chicken, um, chicken lettuce wrap. Okay, look at that. The pork belly is so juicy. The pork belly was amazing, so good. Okay, so trying out my appetizer. So I got the lettuce wrap. It has um, fried fried noodles. And it has some um, some sort of like a pad thai sauce on top with some peanut sauce. 
and it came with um, the chicken satay and peanut sauce right here. Mm, it's pretty good. The chicken is juicy and it's seasoned well. All right, so here's the food I got. I got the ribeye, medium, well, and they got the same thing, medium well. Can you try yours? See if it's good. How is it? It's good. Okay. I think we all we all ordered the ribeye except my son who got the sirloin steak. Okay, so this is the brownie ice cream that I ordered for dessert, and this is the creme brulee. Creme brulee. Oh, thank you. All right. Thank you. you. Want... So Let's try the brownie. Because I'm a chocolate lover, fan. Let's try it. Mmm, good. Alright, let's try it again. The chocolate is just freshly baked. And the vanilla ice cream is good. sweet and creamy. Cool, so it's good. There's a little... Let's try it. Mm. It reminds me of um, the cream is um, reminds me of the leche flan, the Filipino leche flan. It's not that sweet. Um, it's, it's okay. It tastes okay. And the other option is a what do you call this again? Strudel. Apple strudel. So we enjoyed our dining experience at Lime and Chili, New and Charcoal. I hope this vlog gives you a perspective on what to expect at these five-star resorts in terms of food options. Next vlog, we'll be sharing our excursion, water activities, and resort activities. Please join us. If you enjoyed this vlog, please don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.